Welcome to Meet the Candidate with your host, Sulani Madsen. Meet the Candidate is your opportunity to see local candidates and hear about the experiences that have shaped their lives. Meet the Candidate is a nonpartisan community project brought to you by our friends at Greater Spokane Incorporated, Ponderosa Republican Women's Club, We Believe We Vote, and Better Spokane. Now, here's Sulani. Okay, so welcome to Meet the Candidate. And my guest for this session is Mike Baumgartner, who is running for Spokane County Treasurer. Welcome, Mike. Well, thanks for having me. Glad you made the time to come in. And and uh, this is just the get acquainted portion. I know you have a very interesting uh, life story. I've, I've heard you talk before, but I do ask everybody to start with, like, where did you grow up and, and some interesting school experiences? Sure. Well, I grew up the son of two educators here in eastern Washington. My father was 40 years a professor of forestry at Washington State University. Mm -hmm. Actually, Baumgartner in Swiss German literally means tree farmer. And okay. I had, had two uncles that were both uh, in the Forest Service. One of them was a, was a smoke jumper, of all things. And my mother was 42 years a kindergarten teacher here in eastern Washington. So I grew up mainly down in Pullman, then came to high school up here in Spokane. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of my childhood. Yeah. And after, uh, after high school, I know that you went on to some really interesting experiences uh, from college and then uh, in, in government service. So tell yeah, I went, about that. I went to Washington State University and studied economics uh, with a minor in mathematics. And then I spent a year with the Jesuits as a volunteer uh, in Africa, helping refugee kids in Mozambique. And then, of all things, I went to do my master's at Harvard University uh, and studied uh, international development. And uh, actually, they put me to work as a teaching fellow in economics. So uh, the, uh, the old guy from Eastern Washington that went to WSU uh, taught economics at Harvard as well, too. And then when I finished at Harvard, I got a job in the Middle East working for the Crown Prince of Dubai, and then worked in some private mm -hmm. business and some telecom activities uh, in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, a little bit back here, home here with Hecla Mining Company uh, down in Venezuela. Uh, but then the war was going on, and uh, I felt compelled to serve. So I went to uh, Iraq as a State Department officer uh, during the Iraq surge uh, and uh, was an economics officer there. And then later on, uh, went to Afghanistan and ran a counter-narcotics team there in, in Helmand Province. Of all things, I met my wife, uh, Eleanor, who is English. We met in uh, Helmand Province. And I always say on the campaign trail, if Baumgartner can find love in Helmand Province, Afghanistan, all things are possible. So keep hope alive. But yeah, that's where I found love. And then we came home to run for the state senate and raise a family and now we have four little kids and just really enjoy uh being a public servant here in eastern washington oh, cool well that that covers all of the uh, interesting places that you've lived and traveled because you've done a lot of that uh something else i like to ask people about is early work experiences what was your first job where you connected you connected work and money. Well, my very first job uh, was when we lived in Colton, Washington, which is a little farm community uh, mm -hmm. outside of Pullman. And my brother and I used to take old Cougar football cups from the Cougar football games. We'd make Kool-Aid and sell Kool-Aid to, to guys going out to wheat harvest. Uh, that used to, for 10 cents a cup. That was was my very first job. But then uh, uh, as I went you on, you set like, up at the grain elevator. And no, just we had a good there. corner there in Colton. Oh. Uh, and then later on, I was a newspaper delivery boy, uh, so I had the uh, the Pullman Herald. And and, uh, and then we later on had the uh, the Daily News and uh, had those two routes. My friend Matt Morgan down the street had the Lucid Tribune. So we had, were the newspaper delivery boys when we were little. On bike or on foot? Oh, on bike, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, we yes. would do that. And then you would go. And uh, you made basically a nickel every time you delivered a paper correctly. And if you didn't deliver it correctly, they docked you 25 cents. So if we got calls that the paper didn't show up, you know, because that, that was all baseball card money. You yeah. know, that was big dollars in those days to go buy baseball cards. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's one of the things like, I kind of look at around in America these days. And, you know, it's just kind of sad that it's so hard for young people to be able to get a job. There's so much government regulation mm -hmm. and things have become so centralized that, you know, it's kind of sad. I don't think my kids would be able to, to get newspaper jobs like that uh, someday. So uh, that's one of the things I've done in the state Senate is try to try to fight for increased job opportunities for young people. One of the most frequent complaints I've heard from parents during the summer is that their kids can't get summer jobs in their teenage mm -hmm. years, and that's kind of changing the face of America. You know, that's been a theme today with a number of candidates I've interviewed for, for all sorts of offices is that uh, those early work experiences and what a great part of education they really are. Yeah. I'll yeah. have to push on that theme. Yeah. Uh, what, what what kind of uh, 
uh, school activities did you enjoy? You know, kind of the uh, extracurricular kind of stuff. What drew your attention? So we played a lot of basketball uh, growing up. If you played, lived in Colton, I'm sure you did. Yeah, and then even up here when we went to Gonzaga Prep, we played basketball. I actually played basketball overseas. We won AAU Nationals, and then I played basketball in the in the Soviet Union as a kid on a tour. as kind of a friendship tour. Uh, but then I graduated into kind of academic competitions, uh, went to state in something called Future Problem Solvers Academic Competition, mm. and then we did Knowledge Bowl, which is kind of like Team Jeopardy right. uh, for kids in school. So I enjoyed those uh, those competitions as well, too, so both sports and academics. I know that um, you volunteered to run for elected office first when you uh, ran for the state senate and had served a couple of terms. What what prompted you to make the change to run for Spokane County Treasurer? Well, you know, I've only been involved both in the private sector and the public sector in my life, and the times I've been happiest is when I've felt like I'm serving a, a bigger purpose. So I very much enjoyed that year as a volunteer when I was in Mozambique, very much enjoyed when I left my private sector career to go to Iraq and Afghanistan to help my country, and have enjoyed the last eight years in the state senate being a public servant. You know, being a treasurer is an important job. It's also a job that's closer to home. Uh, you know, with our four small kids, Olympia mm -hmm. can be a long way away. And I've, for eight years, driven Snoqualmie Pass twice a week during the winter months and eaten more hot dogs than you can imagine. It loves gas station Ellensburg. <laughs> so looking forward to the opportunity to come and work on uh, important economic initiatives here back at home and, and serve people as treasurer. Well, that's, that's, that's coming back home for family is certainly a, an excellent reason. Uh, I, I'm going to go right to that, that last question and give you the last uh, a minute to summarize. And, and how do you see the duties of the elected office of treasurer? What, what, what does the Spokane County Treasurer do? And, and why should voters choose you to fill that office? Well, the, the treasurer is the steward of the public uh, tax dollars uh, here in our county. And we need to make sure that those tax dollars are, are spent efficiently. So when we bond those tax dollars out, we have to get the, the best return on investment that we can. So that office needs to be run properly uh, and efficiently. That's something I've done in the state Senate, uh, made government smarter. Uh, and uh, then I'll also be a voice uh, to, for important economic initiatives here, fighting tax increases, a voice for economic development, uh, hoping to continue some of the work that I've done on uh, funding the North-South Freeway, building a new medical school here in Spokane, and, and playing a prominent role on those things as, uh, from the platform of Treasurer as well. Okay, and, and why should voters choose you for that uh, for that responsible role? Well, I think we have a you know a great record of eight years as a public servant. You know, somebody that you can trust, somebody that you know that can work across the aisle, and somebody that will be a, a real fiscal steward and uh, and champion of your hard-earned tax dollars. Uh, so I've fought unnecessary tax increases in Olympia. I'll do that here, and I, I guarantee you that the same kid that sold nickel dollars or nickel cents worth of Kool-Aid to those farmers when he was five years old will properly guard your tax dollars here uh, in Spokane. <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining me, Mike. It was a great conversation. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks for watching Meet the Candidate. Spokane Talks thanks our community minded partners, Greater Spokane Incorporated, the Ponderosa Republican Women's Club, We Believe We Vote, and Better Spokane for helping make Meet the Candidate possible.